Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to this installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. This is the last one before Christmas, as you might be able to see behind me. The uh, the space is being taken over. <laughs> That's okay, though. That's what happens, and we've got more space to be taken over in the coming day. So it's all good. I hope you are all set on your ramp up toward Christmas. We'll be here before you know it. Hey, if you would do me a favor, here's the only Christmas present I'm going to ask for from you. Um, leave me a comment. Say hi. Let me know that you're watching. Those things are always kind of cool. Just like Joe did. Good morning, Joe. Um, all right. So I told you on... Uh, Wednesday, I got an update to my software that I used to do this. I'm still learning. I, I got, I have something new showing up over here. <laughs> That's kind of weird. All right. So leave me a comment. Say hi. Let me know that you're here. It encourages me. Tells Facebook that you're interested in listening to the conversation that goes on in the comments after the show's over with. All of that just by saying hi in the comments. Good morning to you, Mr. Joe. All right. So this week we've been talking about control. What you can let go of the rest, leading up to one of and you know, kind of a toss up between Thanksgiving and Christmas, the most stressful holiday, right? Now I'll, I'll go with Christmas being the most, but hey, might be different for you. Maybe it's the Fourth of July for you. you know. Anyway, as we're heading into this holiday, the whole reason I wanted to talk about this topic this week is because we project, we put so many expectations on the next couple of days. <clears throat> and then when we do that, we, we project unrealistic expectations, we're disappointed. And then instead of this great time of year where you get to see and spend time with people that you haven't seen in a long time, and just enjoy that, or maybe just have some time off, and you can just relax. <clears throat> Instead of being able to enjoy those because we've added all these extra expectations, it's like, oh, I feel worse than I did. I can't wait to go back to the shop, go back to the office. Well, don't do that. Right? Set some realistic expectations. Live in them. Enjoy them. Be happy. It's a happy time of year. Just be happy. If Somebody spills red Kool-Aid on the carpet. Nah, who cares? You can clean it up. It'll come out. And if it doesn't, get new carpet. <laughs> right? Put a chair over it. I, I'll tell you a great story on my oldest daughter. Um, clean freak. Loved cleaning. Still does love cleaning. And so, so uh, the house we were living in when she was growing up, in high school had this really deep kind of Kelly green carpet in it. And um, I don't even remember what she spilled. She spilled something on the car. Actually, she didn't spill it. The carpet was just dirty where it went into, just from traffic, you know, where it went into her bathroom. So she got the stuff that she used to clean the bathroom to clean the carpet. She spray it, rub it a little bit, and clean it up. Except that the had bleach in it that's started turning it white <laughs> and so <clears throat> she called me in a panic from upstairs oh you know what am I going to do nothing you can do right I mean you can cut that piece out you can put another piece in get on the carpet or do what she did throw a rug down over be done right don't sweat the small stuff value the big stuff you know I, I had this conversation Wednesday night a co-working night, you know, this great visual of, you know, you got a box and some big rocks and little rocks and little rocks and sand and water. And how do you put all that in there? Well, you start with the big stuff and then fill in the little stuff around it. And we get so wrapped up in the little stuff that we miss the big stuff. And I said earlier in the week, some of us choose to do that as a distraction to keep us from focusing on the big stuff. Maybe so. But, you know, Maybe it's the big stuff we really need to pay attention to. And the little stuff will just take care of itself. So here's what I want you to do. Here's kind of our parting shot for today. 
Uh, and probably for this year. I'll talk to you about that in just a minute. But here's what I want you to do today. As we're getting ready to head into this Christmas weekend. Think ahead. Imagine in your mind the best case scenario. Now, I, I, I thought about suggesting that you envision the perfect scenario, but it's very unlikely that here a couple of days, uh, what are we, four or three days before Christmas, very unlikely that, you know, you, you can get into the big billow of snow and decorated trees, and you know, whatever's perfect for you. Think of the best case scenario. And as you're going, maybe you're going to different places with different parts of the family. In each one of those, think of the best case scenario. How, what's the best thing that could come out of this? Right? Or what's the, the best, not the best thing that could come out of it. The, the best way for this interaction to transpire. Spend a few minutes and live in that. And then, and, and if you'll do that, if you'll think about it, envision it in your mind's eye before you go into it, your brain will have a way of making it happen. Right? Other people are going to be other people. Can't control them. I talked about that yesterday. I can't control making some, whether I make somebody happy or not. I can control creating the conditions to make them happy, but it's up to them. If they're not, they're not. Ha! Look, oh, Uncle Joe's pissed again. Eh. I mean, what else do you do, right? Envision in your mind how you make this the best case for you and then walk in the door with a smile on the face. The rest of it will take care of itself. And if it doesn't, come back here on the next time I do a show and tell me about it. Or you send me a message anytime. All right. So scheduling for the rest of the year. We will have a house full of people for the next week, so very unlikely that I'll be doing a show next week unless I get motivated to get up and leave and go to the coffee shop and do one. Um, because this room will be full of people as well. So yeah, I'm probably going to wrap it up today for the year. Uh, I, I I really would like to do one more. Uh, maybe get Vicky on that one. If I can talk her into it. Uh, I'll probably do that over the weekend. I, I don't know. I, I Actually, it would be kind of cool to do it while everybody's here. So I don't know. We'll see. See how that goes. Just kind of a thank you for the year and and encouragement for next year. So, in case you don't get to see that one, or in case that one doesn't come out on time, here's the other thing I want you to think about. What's the begin thinking about next year? What's your one big rock, your, the BHAG for next year? Big, hairy, audacious goal. You want to make a million dollars? You want to sell your business? Move to Mexico? Move to Germany? Wherever? What's your big, hairy, audacious goal? Maybe it's just to get through the next year with no debt. Okay. Whatever it is, if you start thinking about it, because just like walking into these family events, if you are intentional and think about it ahead of time, a lot more likely to happen. Thank you so much for being a big part of what I've been able to do this year. I hope that it's been helpful for you. If it has, I'd love to hear from you. Just little stories, anecdotes, thank yous, whatever you feel like sharing. That would be awesome. Um, because I love hearing those. Keeps me interested in doing these every day. All right. You guys have a great Friday, a great Christmas. I'll probably be around at some point next week. If I don't talk to you before then, Happy New Year. I'll see you soon. Take care.